everyone, my name is Anika, and today is our first lesson on artificial intelligence. This lesson is basically an intro to AI, and we will be going over what AI is, uh, its uses, and some possibly helpful resources that you can use in your exploration of artificial intelligence. So what is artificial intelligence? The term artificial intelligence was coined in 1955 by Stanford professor John McCarthy, and he defined it as the science and engineering of making intelligent machines. Some other more recent uh, definitions are a branch of computer science dealing with the simulation of intelligent behavior in computers and the ability of a computer or computer controlled robot to perform tasks commonly associated with intelligent beings. AI is basically a process of collecting information or data and sorting it and learning from what is sorted, enabling computers to perform tasks usually needing human intelligence. So we are simulating human intelligence in a computer. That is the gist of what AI is. So some common misconceptions of what AI are is that it is giving machines free will and it is giving machines consciousness. This is not artificial intelligence. We are not living in the Marvel world and artificial intelligence is not any of these things. On the other hand, on the completely flip flat side, artificial intelligence is not automating any and all decision-making. It is independently adaptive and artificial intelligence uh, artificial intelligence learns learns and goes without continuous monitoring. So it is within them, it is almost at the middle of both of these uh, thoughts. And we are nowhere close to even simulating uh, the human brain and artificial intelligence. Um, but we are we are slowly moving in that direction. So why do we need AI? There is such an influx of uh, jobs in the, uh, in the job market um, that require people to know AI and to understand the concept of artificial intelligence. And there are several reasons for this. The first and um, a very important uh, reason is because it is more consistent and makes less careless errors than humans. Um, this is basically a, a very big reason of why we use artificial intelligence and it's to mitigate safety concerns. Um, the most uh, specific example, example I can think of is in self-driving cars, specifically in Tesla, and mitigating any uh, unintended mistakes that drivers may make. Another reason is because it automates it is because artificial intelligence is automating repetitive tasks and saving a lot of time. Um, this is basically one of the biggest reasons, and it's because we cannot, as humans, we cannot go through a large amount of data in a very short amount of time. But this is why we use artificial intelligence. One example is if you are a Twitter employee and you have to go through all the tweets made in a day to check for inappropriate content. Instead, you can use an artificial intelligence program and try and uh, flag down tweets with specific keywords or phrases. And this makes it so much more easier and mitigates the amount of time that you need in order to complete these tasks. This also allows us as humans to pursue more creative and exciting tasks because we are leaving the menial tasks that require a lot of time to the machines. So there are three, so these three words are used interchangeably, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning. They are not the same thing though. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning, which is a subset of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is basically the umbrella that encapsulates machine learning, and machine learning is the umbrella that encapsulates deep learning. So what is machine learning? Machine learning is uh, concerned with designing computers that makes predictions and decisions. And there are three main types of machine learning. The first is supervised learning. Supervised learning is where labeled, you are using labeled data sets to train algorithms to classify or predict. Unsupervised learning is using machine learning to analyze and cluster unlabeled data sets. And reinforcement learning is machine learning based on rewarding desired behaviors and or punish and or punishing undesired behaviors. A, a reinforcement learning agent is able to perceive and interpret its environment and take actions and learn through trial and error. Now, deep learning, which is a subset of machine learning, uses multiple layers of artificial neural networks. 
or you can also, a lot of people call them NNs, to mimic the human brain and our intelligence. And that deep learning allows machines to learn from large data, data sets. And again, in turn, mitigate the amount of time you need to analyze these data sets. The downside to deep learning, though, is that it requires a large amount of computation power. So what are the uses of AI? As I mentioned before, in autonomous systems, um, uh, Tesla is a big example of this, or you can think of drones. That's another example of an autonomous system. Um, again, in pattern recognition. So if you are using a face ID or a, a fingerprint to unlock your phone, that, that is uh, an, um, artificial intelligence is being used in that case. Um, natural language processing and in chatbots, for example, a chatbot on Discord. Uh, or if you're shopping online and you need help and you uh, and you type something into the help section, artificial there's going to be an artificial intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence is being implemented in order to uh, flag certain keywords that you may have typed in order to direct you to where you need to go. Um, and there are so many other uses of artificial intelligence. I have just mentioned a few, but again, you can see on this slide, um, and I would highly recommend you do more research on all of these subsets because each of them have a variety of, uh, of implications in society today. So if anyone was uh, maybe thinking of pursuing AI and already had a background in AI, here are some ways that you can pursue it in the real world um, and industries with artificial intelligence applications. So the first one is healthcare. Healthcare is a booming industry and artificial intelligence is being used in so many different ways. The first thing that I can think of when it comes to healthcare is using, using artificial intelligence in order to perform surgeries. As I mentioned a few slides ago, artificial intelligence mitigates any, uh, not any, but many um, uh, careless mistakes. And this is especially important in surgeries when you're holding a human life in your hands. And that is one thing that we are working towards with artificial intelligence. And again, with retail and e-commerce, as I mentioned uh, in the last slide, food tech and agriculture is also a big thing. Uh, we need to know how much water our, our, our food needs, how much, how many pesticides, sunlight, um, how many, how much nutrients, how nutrient dense the soil is and artificial intelligence can help us predict all of this and accordingly plant and harvest and get the most out of uh, all of our food and the work that we have put into growing it. Uh, banking and financial services is an, or also a large industry and a large sector, especially because all of our, most of our banking and financial information is online now. Um, again, with transportation, as I mentioned in previous uh, slides, and entertainment and gaming, manufacturing, education, and so many more. These are only a few, and artificial intelligence can really be used in any industry. Um, you just have to find a way to implement it. So AI has been in the news a lot, but here are some cool examples of AI in the news recently. So just recently, an AI-generated picture won art prizes. And though the controversy, it is incredible how uh, this man, James M. Allen, used lines of text, used intelligence, artificial intelligence, that to turn lines of text into a graphic. And this is the graphic on the right. Um, the slides are going to be posted along with this video. So if you would like to zoom into this graphic and or click these links uh, that are embedded, uh, feel free to. These are incredible uh, articles um, and incredible pieces of AI, uh, incredible implementations of AI in the real world. Another one um, that has to do with healthcare, as I was talking about in the slide before, is using machine learning, which is, again, a subset of AI, to identify undiagnosable cancers by looking at gene expression programs related to early cell development and differentiation. So this is a big step forward in cancer detection. Um, and an inc incredibly exciting uh, pr in progress in the field of medicine. So again, I would highly recommend you read these articles and check out more, uh, more, more implementations of AI in the real world. So right here, I'm going to try and uh, demo a quick machine, uh, a quick uh, demo on how machine learning works. So if you guys would like and are following along with me on the slides, you can click this link over here. And it's gonna take you to this site. 
uh, which is teachable machine with google.com. And to get started, you just click this button right here or this button to, on the top right here. Um, and so there are three projects you can work with. You can work it with an image project, um, an audio project or a post project. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna work with an image project, but feel free to try either of these three when you're working on this project. So what you're gonna do is once you click image project, it's gonna bring you to a page like this. And I have already uh, started this project, but what I have done is I made two classes. So the first class is pictures of four cats. And these are cats that I just, I searched up on Google. I searched up cats and I downloaded the images and I put them into this class. So I'm gonna name it cats. And then I made a second class. And this second class is four pictures of dogs. Again, from the internet, I downloaded them and uploaded them into this class. So I'm gonna take my time and name this dogs. And once you have made your classes, again, you don't need two classes. You can add as many as you want. Just for the sake of this, I'm gonna stick with simplicity and only make two classes. Then you can click on train model. Um, and here it's gonna train your model according to the images in your classes. So it's looking for specific features that cats have versus specific features that dogs have. So right now I'm going to upload so now that it says model trained, I'm going to upload a picture over here from my files of a dog um, that I did not use in the, in the training. So here, as you can see, now after the model was trained, it with 100% accuracy predicts that this picture is a dog. Um, Obviously, all cases are not going to be like this. I specifically chose a picture of a dog that looked similar to some of these. For example, the eyes and the uh, ears here look very similar to this dog over here. But the more complex and the more data you have, obviously, this, is, this uh, percentage will change a little. And the more classes that you have. So this is just one example of how you can use artificial intelligence. Again, feel free to use this in any other way you see fit. Um, so that is one resource that you can use. The next are these two resources. Um, the first is Machine Learning for Kids, and I will take you that, to that website shortly. And as you can see here, you're basically teaching a computer how to play a game in Scratch. I would highly recommend this for anyone who is beginning in artificial intelligence. This is a great way to figure a way around how it works and the processes behind it. And the second is Google AI. And again, these are linked in the sides. And Google AI is a great tool. If you wanna go a little bit more in depth, um, you can look at uh, implementations of AI, specifically what Google has been working with. Um, you can look at AI in action and AI in research. And this is very cool. I would highly recommend you look at it. Um, you can also explore tools and learn new skills with Google AI. So if you're quite interested, I would highly recommend this website um, for a little deeper uh, experimentation within AI. Um, and that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for sticking out through this whole presentation. I hope you learned something. If you have any comments or questions, uh, please feel free to DM us on Instagram or email us. Um, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next time. So thank you guys so much. Bye.